Hello, my name is Matt Knopf. I'm with a company called PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of natural gas and propane kits for generators. Uh, we're going to do an installation here on a Generac GP15000E. Uh, the reason we picked this particular generator is because this is probably amongst the toughest ones there is uh, because it's a four bolt pattern. Most of the other uh, smaller generators as Predators, Hondas, Briggs and Stratton's, they're all a two bolt pattern that comes off the side of the engine. This is a top mount engine. So on this particular one here, um, this is basically what you're going to end up getting in a tri-fuel kit. Uh, you'll get all your hardware, your fasteners, uh, you'll get your secondary regulator, uh, you'll end up with your power elbow, um, your nipple, and you're also going to get a ball valve that will install in here, and that's a manual ball valve. They do also carry an electric lock-off uh, for remote starts and things like that. But this particular one, we're just doing the manual. Um, in the tri-fuel kit, basically, you're going to get your high-pressure regulator 2, uh, which will include your POL valve for your uh, hookup for your tank for a 20-pound barbecue. Uh, this will be the hose that will supply with the kit. It's 42-inch. Uh, we only supply that length because most people just have the 20-pound barbecues. And then this connection will just go in here, and then we'll also go into this fitting here. Um, this is the adapter that goes with this kit. It is a four bolt. Uh, this is a two barrel on this particular unit. So, and there's a lot of hardware and fastener with this. On this particular one, uh, the way it extends it, it brings out the intake. So we'll be extending that. It comes with the gaskets and all that, and we'll show you that when we do the install. Now the optional things is that we do carry. Um, a 48 inch and a 72 inch flexible line um, with your three quarter inch fittings um, which are not quick connects because we don't recommend that on the natural gas because of the orifice size uh, and that's all due to the power elbow because you will be restricting fuel here to get your fine idle on the engine. Um, this one here that we carry is a quick connect and we recommend this only for propane because it is under pressure whereas this more is a volume draw under the BTU uh, so this unit here if you do buy this and you can see that online you can purchase it that will connect into the ball valve here which will install into the regulator and that way you can disconnect that and use that uh, unit mobile for yourself so that's basically what's going to come into the kit and these are kind of some option things that we do carry and this is some of the tools that we're going to use on this job here. There are some different metrics and standards on this one here. So what we'll do is we'll get started on this unit here. Uh, to give you a little idea, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to end up removing the air cleaner on this to get a start with it. And just, they have two caps on top that we can remove that with. And once we do that, when they make this, they have two little plastic flaps on each side of this cover. And what we're going to have to do, because the hose extension that comes out this side when we hook up the secondary regular, that flap will be in the way. And also, if you look around on this side over here, there is an electronic choke that's under this unit here. Okay, And you can see this is like this, but when we install that adapter, it's going to end up extending that out about an inch and a half. So that way it will end up interfering with that. So we're going to have to cut that. You can cut that by either grinding it or a, a saw or something that you're going to have to use. Well, I have a little bucket here that I'm going to use to just keep my spare parts in. And then what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to go over here and modify this so I get rid of this extra clip. We've already broke off a piece here. And um, what we'll do is we'll come over here to the grinder. Hopefully you have a grinder. If not, you're going to end up using a um, file or some sort. But I'll show you just kind of how we're going to do this just to make this smooth here.
thought I have to remove a portion of this so it does clear the electronic choke. So I'm just going to grind away this portion up here and remove this material here. This portion can stay because it's not going to hit it. remove some of the burrs. So what we'll do is we'll just set this aside in our little bit we have up here. So now what we're going to do is I'll let you see inside here. We're going to remove the air cleaner. And that's just held on by one wing not up here. We'll get that off there. Pull, that in. Pull this to the side. Okay, now there's what this is is there's studs that are in here. We're going to end up having to pull these out here, and we'll show that in the next step. But first, we'll remove the four bolts that hold on this little cover here. There is a gasket between here, so be careful on that. And that particular one there is a 10 millimeter in the inside of this, so we'll remove this for you. And these are just nuts here, so. Uh, the manufacturer, what they do is they supply a, some bolts that end up going through here, but we have found that if you cut six millimeter rods, it actually works better, and that's what we're actually going to end up going to. So, but on this particular one, we'll show you both methods. So, let's get this off here. Remove this. We're going to go step by step on this. So this video is going to be normally longer than most, but uh, we'll kind of get you each step that you got. So, okay, we're going to remove this here. And you'll see the gasket. We'll set that in there. You'll see the gasket in here. Just want to be careful with them. Being a newer machine, it's a little easier to remove them. So now that we have that, the way this is, is we're going to have to remove the intake studs here. So they're Allen heads, so, and when you do this, just make sure that you try to not pull the gasket away from where it's seated. It just makes it a little bit tougher on you, so. We'll get this removed here, and uh, we'll show you the next step in just a minute. 